Disconnect the batteries from the tractor. Set the multimeter to diode mode. To check the circuit on the motor PCBA, start by identifying the power wires coming in the PCBA and the power wires going out of the PCBA to the motor. The red wire is the positive input coming in and the grounding plate is the negative input coming in. The green, blue, and yellow wires are the power out to the motor. Contact the red test pin to the grounding plate. Contact the black test pin to each of the green, blue, and yellow wires, one at a time. The reading should be between 0.4 volts and 0.55 volts. Any reading outside of this range, the PCBA is bad and needs to be replaced. Contact the black test pin to the red wire and the red test pin to each of the green, blue, and yellow wires, one at a time. The reading should be between 0.4 volts and 0.55 volts. Any reading outside of this range, the PCBA is bad and needs to be replaced. To check the circuit on a blade PCBA, start by identifying the power wires coming in the PCBA and the power wires going out of the PCBA to the motor. The red wire is the positive input coming in and the grounding plate is the negative input coming in. The brown, blue, and yellow wires are the power out to the motor. Contact the red test pin to the grounding plate. Contact the black test pin to each of the brown, blue, and yellow wires, one at a time. The reading should be between 0.4 volts and 0.55 volts. Any reading outside of this range, the PCBA is bad and needs to be replaced. Contact the black test pin to the red wire and the red test pin to each of the brown, blue, and yellow wires, one at a time. The reading should be between 0.4 volts and 0.55 volts. Any reading outside of this range, the PCBA is bad and needs to be replaced.